Hello everyone, today we are going to solve problem 84 of chapter 4. Determine the magnitude of couple moments m1, m2, and m3 so that the resultant couple moment is 0. So the summation of moment will be 0. We have one moment here, one moment here, another moment, and 150 pound foot and that's the only moment that we have so we have three unknowns but we know that in 3d we can write summation of moment in x y and z coordinate and then we'll get three equations so because it's 3d i need uh, all my moments in a vector form so moment one m1 i don't know the magnitude but i know the direction the direction is towards positive y so that would be m1 j m2 i don't know the magnitude but i know the direction is towards negative x so that would be negative m2 uh, i m3 i don't know the magnitude but i can find the direction i know m3 is going from here to the point here i have the dimensions so I can find a unit vector and then write it in form of a vector. So the unit vector for my moment 3 is simply the position vector divided by its magnitude. So that would be 2i is going towards positive i, negative 2j, plus 1 unit in positive k. And the magnitude is 3. So if I simplify M3, that would be the magnitude of M3, which is unknown. 2 over 3i minus 2 over 3j plus 1 over 3k. So, so far I found M1, M2, and M3. And then for this moment that I'm going to call it M4, I have the magnitude and I have the angles. So again, the angles are in 3D. So if this would be M4, the projection on XY plane, on Y and X, this projection would be 150 cosine 45. That's the angle that our moment is making with its shadow on XY plane. And then once I have it on XY plane, the component on XY plane, I can use the other 45 angle to find the other component. So M4, the magnitude is 150. Cosine 45, that gives me the projection. Another cosine 45 will give me the I component. And will be towards positive i because the direction will be in this direction. So my x component will be positive x. The j component is towards negative y. So that would be negative cosine 45, cosine 45, j. And the k component would be simply negative as well. But sine 45k. So for my moment m4, I have everything, both the magnitude and direction. After simplification, I get 75i, negative 75j, 106.06k. And the unit that I'm using here, here is pound feet. So for the summation of moment to be zero, because moment is a vector, all the components in i, j, and k should be zero. So technically this is three equation. All the components in i. Let's see what components in i we have. So m1 doesn't have any component in i. We have one component here in i. We have another component in i 
and then another component. So we have three components for i. Let's write our three component negative m2 plus two thirds of m3 plus 75 would be zero. Let's go for j component. Let's see what component for j we have. m1 has a component, m3 has a component, and also m4. So we write our component m1 minus two third of m3, negative 75 would be zero. And then finally we have the k component. We use the same approach, write the component, one third of m3 minus 106.06 .06 would be zero. So there are three equations and three unknown we can solve it, but we don't have to solve three simultaneous equation. In this equation, the only unknown would be M3. So we can find M3. Then we plug it in here, we find M1. And then once we have M1, and uh, then we plug M3, we find M2. So our M1 and M2 would be 287 pounds. Feet, and then M3 would be 318.18 pound feet. So here, because we were adding the moments together, we didn't need to use any moment arm. There are no forces, there are moments. The only challenge for us was to represent these moments in a vector form. Some of them were obvious, such as M1 and M2. The other for M4, we had to use the angles and for m3 we had to use the dimensions